Yes, family. Good morning. Give thanks for another great rise. We are out here. It's hot. <laughs> it's like over 100 degrees today now. And I'm here, man. We don't know. We have to get the work done. So, yeah, man. Today, we're going to do some multi sequencing because you don't know multitasking is not a real thing. You can only do one thing at a time. So, I'll show you how the decks here. I'll do some updates. Final, final little updates on the deck and also my fish are coming from Florida and I'm going for my fishing trip or uh, Key West there there they yeah, want me to have to ship home the, the fish so I'm supposed to come in today so you don't know we have to cook up some of that you know you know so anyway what we're going to do I'm going to show you the deck and what we have left for do and as I say throughout the day I'll go back and forth and check in for the food and thing you know so, we we'll go and stay tuned. So, yes, family, as well, as now, this is where we are with the deck. So, we we'll put up the upper railings. Yeah, man. Paint up the stairs, put some stain on the stairs, you know, so you can protect it, you know. So, we have my other railings. So, I'm going to put up stairs. So I'm put the, the rail in for the stairs, complete that, and then over here, as you can see, rails are up. Yeah, man, rails are up over here, completed putting in these stairs, you know. So I gotta put up another set of rail right here, as you can see, the rails for the stairs, these are completed leading out into the yard you know so long view As, oh yeah i'm gonna put up some lights too you know so these are solar lights yeah and them come on on their own at night yeah man so you see me have them on each post you know and they're they're multi-colorful so you can change the colors you know so yeah that's where we are you know as i'm gonna say another hot day so I have my equipment them set up and thing, you know. So I can get everything done. Yeah, my goal is to get um, this done for the weekend, you know. So I have some more lights over there, so. Yeah, man. And then another thing I might add was these, uh, I think we are telling about the, under the bottom part of the deck, these, them call them lattices. And those keep like animals and stuff especially my dog them <laughs> from going under the deck so yeah i'm gonna spray paint that and i'm gonna paint that black so it it blend in with the with the color scheme you know um so that's next i'm gonna fill out this this last like a spot right there so all right so yeah man i'm gonna go and stay tuned as i'm gonna say multi-sequencing the cooking said speed because you don't know where to eat and also finishing up the this this deck and I'll be so glad when it's done because it's been a lot of work <laughs> I've been on a, on a farm upon the journey of when this thing started a couple months ago between work and travel and everything else that I had to do in between but you know we, we take it one day at a time and do it when we can do it you know so yeah man stay tuned and see how this thing turns out all right there's this, we'll show you how the end results gonna be all right so check in shortly
Why well, you say all that look easy? <laughs> Trust me, it take a couple tries for me to figure that out, you know. So, yeah. Lot of trial and error, but once you, once I figured out the, the proper way to install it, that is it. Yeah, so now, all I have to do is run the rails this way and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to use 2 by 4 just going to put that down flat so that way I got the correct this height for this lower bar which is 4 inches off the ground. Alright, so right now I get ready to cut the top and the bottom. Alright, so the bottom rail as you can see is narrow and the top one is a little bit more flat so the trick to, to this is making sure that when I cut it these holes line up so when I install it the rails will fit directly into each hole all right so let me go cut this and come back and install it so before I cut it one of the things that I have to do is I have to measure it so the spaces between this have to be the same on both sides so that way like I said the reels will line up all right so I take a little bit of finessing or finagling which we've already want to use <laughs> to get this thing right so I got three inches to that hole got two inches to that hole so that means I'm gonna slide it over a little bit Two and a half. Two and a half. All right. So now that's shifted on me. Two and a half. Two and a half. All right. So I got that. So now I can mark it. Now I can cut it. All right, let's check this, make sure say it fits. Perfect. All right, so that fits. So now, like I said, I have to line up my top board or my top rail with my bottom rail let's use my steers as my bench lined up mark this then we'll cut it all right so now that we have our both cut I'll have to add the fasteners all right fasteners right here so the way it goes is there's gonna be two fasteners on the bottom side of the top rail and of course I have to flip this over that was the first mistake I made because it's supposed to be on the bottom side of the bottom rail only difference is the holes on the bottom rail supposed to stick up, right? That's how it works. So we can install these real quick. All 
All right, then last but not least, this piece, this will be our stabilizer and that's gonna sit in the center of the bottom reel and it's gonna sit on the deck and that keeps it from um, bowing over time because it is plastic. 32, so 16 is my halfway point. I'm saying 23, 11 and a half. All right, that's my center point. So next, drill my hole. And this will go right in here, lock in there, and then we'll tighten it up and you'll see when I install that, all right? All right, now it's time for installation. So, as you can see, when I, when I install this rail, there's a metal piece that holds that two by four in place. So the first thing I have to do is mark it, then drill the holes. Because even though these are self-tapping screws, it it you know gets a little bit of pressure from um, when you try to drill the screws in. So make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna drill the holes, pre-drill the holes through the metal. Let's mark it first. Drill these holes. Set this back up. Yep, I had to tighten that one back down, but that's all good. All right, got myself tapping screws. So I'm telling you it was a challenge. Sometimes you do one and it's very easy. And then sometimes you run into that problem like I just did. But oh, we'll keep on pressing. All right, that's good. So we said we don't claim to be perfect, right? So yeah, for sure. Say so sometimes you you don't work out as you expect, but there we go. Now we're cooking. All right. 
the next thing at our poles. All right, so the poles are added and we got to line these up, drop them in there. Trust me, this one is a lot <laughs> easier to line up because it's a shorter, shorter uh, piece. Normally, I have Lynn out here helping me because she can stay up top and hold on to it. All right, so there we go. So up here, I don't have to pre-drill the holes because it's just that wood that's up here. So <laughs> I would say this should be easier, but <laughs> we already know how that goes, right? Even on both sides, even on both sides. This is even. And there it is. I'll give you a distant view. Yeah. So now I gotta add one on that side and then run rails all the way down to the back. But yeah. And of course I have to run the stair the, the railing for the stairs you see it so took a few a little bit longer than i would like to but that is putting up the rails all right so i'm going to finish up the rest of this stuff and then we go as i said we go back and forth with cooking as well you know so next thing we're gonna do is finish putting up these railings and me and Lynn are gonna start hopefully them deliver my, my fish soon and then we're gonna start cook up some food come here, i get peckish already you know and, and it's still early <laughs> all right so go and stay tuned All right, so remember, so we say we are multi-sequence, so as the work are going outside, we'll come back in because we have to cook up the food, but you know, Friday, so I keep it light. So we have some, some chicken wings, and we only I cook three of my snap of them when we catch. <laughs> and then 
we have some fillets yeah some tilapia fillets so as you can see we have two pots on the fire so we're gonna do the chicken in that one and we're gonna do the um the fish in the other one all right so let me start with the fish and that's what Mr. said me learn that style yeah, from junior lifestyle of fishing you know yeah man season up the fish in a season water and then make it just put it right in the pot so that way it no burn And see me, um, <laughs> and we hear the story about this, uh, this, uh, snap, this, uh, snap, yeah. so it was murdering. You see this? This is one of them snapper there. So, when we catch the fish, then the guy, them so used to um, fillet in the fish and him take out the first snap on him, fillet them. So, no man, keep the fish as is because I want it, you know, the whole fish. This is uh, uh, all him get from. They, you see the size fish on me throwing out the pot. I so, saw this is what left. <laughs> so. Murdering. Yeah. So imagine you go out there, you catch the big fish there, man. This is all you get from your um from your fish. Them two look a piece there. So, yeah, don't get your fish filled. You waste the fish. Alright, so. Now that we have the, um, some of the fish on the fire, so I said two pots we are on set speed. So now I'm going to drop some, some chicken and some butter. Now French fry up, French fry up some chicken wings. Perfect weekend food, you know. Not too heavy. And it's nice and quick. I'm going to eat this with some french fries, you know, so that's what I'm going to say. You know, most people don't like cooked wallipa food for on Friday still. Friday are usually pizza day, you know. Go out, go eat and all and things there. But I'd rather cook my, my weekend yamins, my Friday yamins. And go out, go pay all kind of money for Fish is on, wings are on, all right? So, I'm gonna get the fries them ready. Actually, I pre, pre cut fries already. So, one thing I have to do is just fry them up, turn them up, and cook up everything. So, stay tuned when everything's done, and then we're gonna just ease back and watch some Olympics and enjoy the Friday. All right, so stay tuned. See that? 
And then you got the fries. You got all kinds of pre-made fries. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the fries another the pot. Yeah, man, see that? Chicken fry dough, fish fry dough. Just waiting on the fries. I'm gonna go have dinner. All right, check the inside. All right, pop the seat there. Food ready up. Yeah, man. Have some snapper. Have some tilapia fillet. Yeah, man. See that? Chicken wing. Right, come on. Eat the nyam is that, you know? Yeah, easy nyam. So, yeah, right. Come on, shut this, you know? Come on. <laughs> come on, shut this. It's rain hard now. We can't do no more work out in the yard, so, yeah, man. I'll, I'll get my cutting tomorrow. Alright, but, we will do the nyam is tonight, so. Well, I'm blessed up on yourself, man. Mm, check in. Check in tomorrow and we'll finish up the day work on you, you know? All right, family. So it's gonna be a long weekend. All right. So yesterday we did some of the deck. As you can see, for dinner we had some, you know, a light dinner. We had fried fish, some of the snapper that we we'll catch in our Key West, plus some tilapia fillets and then some chicken wings. So that was for dinner last night. So so I prep this today for Sunday. Sunday's dinner because we still have enough left over for today, right? We still have enough fish left over for today. So, for Sunday, tomorrow, we are going to make some jerk ribs, all right? So as you can see, I have, um, have my ribs. They've been soaking overnight, marinating. And in here, just only thing I put in here is just, they call it brining, you know, where you, you soak your stuff in basically salt water but I put cloves in there alright so yeah man you can smell the cloves in the, in the meat alright so right now we're gonna just we're gonna season up the um, the ribs and what I'm going to do as you can see I have all my seasoning lined out there and those are Traeger seasonings of different different types as you can see um, so I'm going to put at least one pan each rib, alright? So we have different flavors of ribs, alright? So I have enough space in here to do two at a time, alright? So I'm going to start with some mustard. And you see this, what mustard do is help that seasoning to stick, alright? So. Yes, Kelly. Rub in the mustard. As you can see, believe some of the fat on there because the fat's good for rendering, right? So while it's on the grill, that fat will render down and keep the meat tender. All right. So, so go pick one, you know. Which one is this? This one is the garlic and chili pepper. Spicy garlic and chili pepper. So we'll start with that. First, we'll get some of that. And you don't need a lot. Because, as I'm going to say, this has been soaking overnight in salt water and brine. And cloves. This is just for the flavor. And then, as I'm going to say, I'm going to jerk it. So, once it gets closer, I'm going to add some jerk seasoning to it. We get closer to ending. All right, next season what we're gonna use is this one's a pork and poultry, apple and honey. All right. This 
ska du, det ska du. Om du ska ha ett stick till så du ser en stick till det. Ja man. That mustard helps. It gives a different flavor too, you know. You notice me now change my gloves because all this I gotta sit in a one tub anyway. Alright. So that's my next piece of ribs. A bit of mustard. Now if you never tried this recipe before, if you look at a lot of the barbecue circuits, you see a lot of people use mustard. You don't have to use it, you know, but it's up to you. Again, you know, every time you go out of the kitchen, it's an adventure. So you choose what you like and you add that to it. All right, which one is this? This one is the anything rub. So this is salt, pepper, garlic, and some additional spices in it, all right? Yes, each one is different. So you have a variety of flavors. I really love this one because it, you know, it has the garlic and stuff in it. I'm gonna advertise to people, but when it comes to barbecuing, Traeger usually makes really good seasoning. Alright, that's our next one. I'm gonna move that left to that one. Two left. Alright, so that's perfect. Get the cloves off of it. And you know cloves are like have that pimento flavor but it's a little bit stronger than, than pimentos all right so again mustard and you see you don't need you don't really need a lot of mustard all right which one is this this is Citrus and black pepper. Yeah. And I tell you, you know, this is this is gonna taste so so good. Flip it, and as you can see, the the, the different. Because I stack the ribs, the, the flavors are infused with each other, you know? So, the ones on the right side are gonna have a completely different flavor profile than the ones on the left side, you know? Side your season first, but I like season the bone side first, so I know. Alright, and the last seasoning we're using is which one is this? This is the primary brub. So rosemary and garlic. Alright. I love I love rosemary and the rosemary give it a, a very distinct flavor as well. 
if you ever had rosemary on your food, you can tell the difference. And you put some rosemary on your food. But you need natural, natural rosemary is even better. Oh yeah, it smells so good. one of course we're gonna mix it so I get to pick two flavors that I like the best for this one so I think I'm going to use the rosemary and garlic and the You know what? I'm gonna use the anything raw. Yeah, the anything raw because I have the salt and pepper and mold the spices. So rosemary and garlic. I'm gonna go with that the anything rub. Got anything counting. <laughs> Anything can happen when you mix that one there, you know? It's like a tops of mustard. Okay, anything rub. going on well the deck project we'll try to finish up with up on the last part of it this meat is seasoned up for, for Sunday right now it's too hot for go outside <laughs> so <laughs> and I tell you it's really hot outside over 100 degrees um, and you know the only reason I know I finished yesterday we kind of run out of material plus you know we have a thunderstorm late last night and we lose power and everything so you know it goes into the next day all right so this is a weekend of cooking all right so we're gonna put this up put it marinate soak overnight and then tomorrow we'll put it on the grill so later on this evening when it get cooler we'll go outside and finish up the deck the railing on the deck that's the last thing we have to do all right so on the stay tuned yes family it is sunday and Time to get this grill fired up. Yeah, man, this is some already. I got the um, ribs all seasoned up and stuff, soak overnight. So now we are gonna deal with the with the deck. Actually, we we'll finish up most of the decks, as you can see. See the railings, railings up top, foot up, railings on the stairs is up. Yeah. Yeah, distant look. Added my uh, my lights, All right? And see my railings on the stairs over here is put up. Still have to clean up back there, so that's my other cooking area. But yeah, see there, railings down here, so put up. Steps put up. I have to paint that. All right. I have to finish painting these stairs. And then, as you can see, underneath, I put the lattices on that keeps the dog from going under the deck. Spray paint that black so it matches my color scheme. All right. See on this side as well. Yeah. 
So really and truly the only thing I have left to do on this deck I'm gonna add a set of stairs right there right this little section right here only because it's a little bit higher right here and that way people can just walk down into the yard so you see the stairs set up already so that's the next thing I have to do right so in between that I'm gonna throw the ribs on the grill and get that started okay I don't know after cook while we are working on yeah man it's just a Friday we just do a little light cooking and then today you know I put the major cooking on so we'll do some jerk barbecue ribs haha <laughs> you already know they got nice yeah man so we're going to go on stay tuned we're going to start this project and at the same time catch you in time we start put the meat on the grill the grill are warm up right now so once the, the grill ready we're going to drop that on the grill all right so we're going to stay tuned all right family the grill is nice and warmed up we're going to drop these ribs on so what I say, well marinated, come on, beautiful piece of ribs, slabs of ribs, yeah. Now we're going to drop these on the grill, get this started. Boy, look at here, look at here. Got me six beautiful slabs of ribs. are on yeah nice and well seasoned up so we're gonna let these do their thing <laughs> all right and we'll get back to the yard work all right so shut down the grill let them go under them thing so stay tuned we're gonna get back to this yard work all right let's um let's check on this ribs see how they doing Time to flip them. Get that nice, nice bark from them. Nice dark color, you know? Yeah. Now we look a bit of a problem with the grill earlier, but the grill is back up and running. Yeah, man. See that? Nice, go call up on the ribs, them, you know. Yeah. So we met them. They're gonna finish cook up, and then you don't know. We're gonna drop some jerk season on it, on the final part of the process. All right. So I'm gonna go and stay tuned, you know. Yeah, man. Check in shortly. The deck is finished, so we can focus upon the food. And you know that is the most important part. <laughs> so yeah, man. We're gonna stay tuned. Syringe, yeah. Oh, where's I watch my back, you know? Yeah, man. Right, Ranger? Yeah, alright. So let's stay tuned. <laughs> alright, so final part of the cook down of the ribs. Cause you know, as we say, every time I come out of the kitchen, it's a different different experiment, you know. Even though I'm gonna do this before. It's a new experiment to you guys. I'm gonna do this before. So what am I gonna do? You can see the ribs, so they're nice and colorful. Yeah, so before them get completely cooked, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice them up. Slice them up, I'm gonna dip them now. The, see the secret sauce over there, so yeah, secret for a reason, you know. I see the ribs them almost done now. So what I do now? Slice them up. Dip them in the sauce. And then drop them back on the grill. 
for one last cook now. Sometimes I have to manipulate this thing here. Most people would have eat this. I mean, you can't eat this right now, you know. <laughs> ribs. Yeah, ready, ready, already, but love my ribs, them nice and tender as well, you know. Plus, the sauce. You get the sauce for soaking completely into the meat. All right. You know, Mafi. Just take a smart. Mm hmm. This is just one. So we're gonna do get the nice sauce. Drop them another pan. Sauce pan. That's where the word sauce pan come from, you know. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> sauce. Pan. Yeah, see there. So them look beautiful. It's not finger licking good, you know. It's a finger nyamming good, cause when you taste, it's like a bite off all your finger. <laughs> right, Lynn? <laughs> yeah. So, make sure say. You have 911 pound speed dial just in case you bite off your finger. You can get to the hospital very quickly. While you're still eating ribs <laughs> and your finger. Just don't eat your finger because you're going to eat it back. So you can hold the ribs, you know? I'm going to save this. A piece down my sample piece. I tell you, enough time, enough people coming for me. I'm trying to answer the food look good, but I tell you, if you could have tasted it, mm. and then remember, you know, when I season this up, each one had its own different seasoning. So even though I'm putting the same sauce on it, Still are different. You get multiple flavors. Don't worry about that. That, that is not needed. All right. See there. One more time. Sauce. Say it with me, Lynn. Pond. <laughs> she not say it. She not say it. Sauce pond. Sauce pond. Yes, yeah, see? You see our finger? Sample. So the sample, so the sample piece there. Who's that piece? And as I say, my special season this, you know, my special sauce this, you know. Patent pending. As I say, some people like them ribs stretchy. I like my ribs tender, off the bone tender. I know you can't just get your own little piece. Somebody I get somebody I get over spanda piece here. Yeah. Alright, so I have about four uh, four more ribs to do. Alright. So we're gonna cut them up, drop them another another pan here, cover them up and put them on the grill. So check in shortly. I 
I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just All right, so as you can see, the ribs are cut up, sauced up, ready to go back on the grill. So most of them cook already, so it's not gonna take more, maybe another 10 minutes on the grill. That's about it. So, so you don't want them, even though I like them tender, I don't want them too soft either. I love it. It's already coming off the bone. It's got all the flavor it needs. Like I said, this is just, Last part, just to get the sauce to soak in and get that jerk flavor. All right, so we're gonna drop it back on the grill. As you can see, the grill is ready, fired up, ready to go. Back on the grill, good to go. 10 minutes, all right, <laughs> and we'll be done. All right, so stay tuned, watch the video of the deck and see how we are uh, completed everything else but i got an aerial view of the deck that you guys can see how the end result looks like all right and we still have some stuff to add to it but those are cosmetic all right so stay tuned Yeah, so while we was outside preparing the ribs, Lynn was inside doing something. What were you doing, Lynn? Making potatoes. Potatoes? Just regular potatoes? You can't just eat regular potatoes. What, what you got in there? Baked some. What is that? Potatoes. Sliced them up. Put some. Ooh. Whoa. Is that one of your secret recipes, too? So it's, it's potatoes with what now? What's on there? Little herbs and spices. Okay, okay, see? Secrets, herbs and spices. So y'all don't get every, <laughs> y'all don't get, no, just know it's potatoes, red potatoes with herbs and spices, all right? So that's gonna go with our ribs. Yeah, man, good to go. All right, so we're gonna go take the ribs off of the fire and bring it inside and we should be done. Is there anything else we're going to eat with this, Red Man? No, I think that's good. Okay. All right. She said that's good. All right. So we're going to take the ribs out for the fire. All right. Stay tuned. All right, family. So we are down in the cave as usual. Yeah. Lynn's already here. Brought all the food down. So this is what we got. We got some biscuits. 
that Lynn baked. <laughs> we got some, <laughs> some, some ribs. Jerk barbecue ribs. And then we got some potatoes. Roasted potatoes in the, on, in the oven. So we're going to get our little meal set up. So we can relax a little bit, watch some YouTube. I got to pause right now. Did you want to sit right here? Or? Huh? Oh, no, I'm good. All right. So do I have to fix your plate? Yes. Why do I have to fix your plate? Because you're closer to everything. What you mean? You want me to move it over to no. you? No. After all that cooking, I still got to fix the plate. I guess that's, that's my job. <laughs> all right, so we'll get the potatoes first. Is that enough potatoes? A little more. Okay. And then what? Ribs. How many ribs? Just one rib? I'll take two since you, you know, you twisted my so I'm arm. So I'm for the biggest ribs. No, no, uh, no. Yeah. Just one. This one. Two. All right. And then, well, you get to pick your biscuit. So. Thank you. potatoes that got the herbs and spices on it <laughs> just like the biscuits but I want three ribs even though I sampled it earlier I still want three ribs that was just a sampling You know, the problem is I don't even know which one is, what seasoning is on what. <laughs> so, I'm just picking from three different sides of the, of the pan. And then, I'll take a biscuit. One biscuit. All right. So, I'm sorry. That's something in the eye? No. Yeah, I see myself eating this, <laughs> eating all <of> this food. <laughs> that's my, that's my eye problem. I see myself eating all this food. <laughs> so I'm gonna try all three, just to make sure the flavoring is different. Okay. Mm hmm. Potatoes, well cooked. That's one. Mm. Yeah. Right off the bone. So remember I told you earlier, even though I put the same sauce on each rib, you can still taste the difference oh, in the one? seasoning. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Definitely three different flavor profiles based on the different types of seasoning. And then, of course, the biscuits. So, it took us a couple of months to finish this uh, project. 
And like I said, that's all based on the time that we had between work, because we both have jobs. <laughs> so between work and the weekends, most of the work we did was about 99.9% .9 of the work was on the weekend. And when it's good weather. Yeah, you know, they account for the weather as well. We got slowed down a lot of days because, the, you know, we're in the middle of hurricane season, so a lot of rain the last couple of days. And, I mean, you really don't want to work with power tools out in the rain, you know. You said it, this saw was a metal saw, so. <laughs> last thing, somebody got hit by lightning a couple, like, this last thunderstorm we had in Maryland, so. You got to take all that into consideration, so. We had to do it when we could do it. So, lessons learned. For me, it's be prepared to respond to what you don't expect. So, when we started the project, my initial thought was pull up the boards and drop the new, you know, drop the new boards on there and that was it. But as you can see, every time we pulled up a board, we found another problem. Some had to be replaced. Yep. We had to replace boards and we found out that some of the 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 materials that the original person that put the deck together, they mixed the the material so for example some sections had nails some sections had um, screws. screws nails are easier to pull up than screws trust me you know so goes to saying find a good contractor <laughs> when you do some of these projects like i said some things you can do yourself diy wise some things you you need a professional like for me when it comes to electricity I leave that to the professionals. For something like this, I'm, I'm learning a new skill, so it was good to learn a new skill. Um, but yeah, you can save money in some sense on getting the lowest bidder, but you get what you pay for, right? So um, if you can find a good contractor that's not gonna overcharge you, definitely go for that, you know, but Things that you can do for yourself. That's the whole point of this whole project was things you can do for yourself. So we were able to do a, about, well, I won't say 99.9%, .9%, but 100% of this project for ourselves. And we learned a lot during the process. So then, what did you learn? <laughs> As I sample my rib. As you sample your rib, oh my gosh. Patience. I mean, you may want <laughs> that too. <laughs> but you may be on a timeline. You think it may go smoothly. You can finish in like, you know, a week or two. But based on all the things that we had ran into, um, having to keep it on, going back and getting different material to fix some of the issues that we saw was like, the main thing. Um, luckily, we had all the tools we needed for the project. Um, well, we had to buy some more tools, too. But yes, because so. some of them got broken or... We didn't have. Yeah, so, I mean, but it's rewarding because we did it ourselves. So, that's the main thing from us. Um, so, flexibility. Be flexible because... What you plan is probably not is not what's going to happen. So you have to be prepared to adjust as needed. So, yeah. Yeah. But most important thing is that, like you said, like Lynn said, it's like we did it ourselves and we learned a lot during the process. Um, and just a new skill that we gained. So we can... Now, if it if there's a repair that needs to be done, we can do it ourselves, and that's that's what DIY is about. Is you know the one thing I can say is I do respect 
the people that do this job because you know sometimes we look we, we kind of underbid the people that do these projects for us and be like oh yeah it's too much but i understand why they charge so much because it's the labor it's a lot of work oh yeah that you have to put into it so not considering the weather all the different things that can come into play but overall it was a great project we benefit from it <laughs> oh yeah saved a lot of money from it so you know it's on to the next one so you know more to come yeah i still got that grill I'm still building the grill so don't i ain't forget about that it's almost done so that's stay tuned to the channel so you'll see what happens with the grill that's the next thing now that this whole deck project is complete that's the biggest thing i had on our plate so now we can focus on something else you and know? he's waiting to see what other project i'm gonna talk him into <laughs> look every time i leave i'm get ready to go somewhere something need to get fixed so there's always that project somewhere to get done so that's always something done but for you that are own homeowners you already know that's how it goes right the least that the time when you when you least expect something to happen is when it happens so be prepared for that so it's always good again to learn something so anything else no i hope you enjoyed the project and all the work that we put into it and all the good food that you see us cooking along the way mm -hmm. and if you have uh, any questions youtube has all the answers <laughs> <laughs> Because trust me, we use YouTube a lot too, just to learn some of the, the skills of doing some of these uh, uh, projects that we did. You know, it's, it's there. The information is there. So <laughs> take advantage of it. We just want to let people know that, hey, you know, support the channels that take the time out to give you the information because it's, it's, it, it definitely helps. And a lot of it helped us getting this project done. So... Other than that, you know, the, the food is always going to be amazing because even though you can't taste it, but you know, you know how we do. We, we like, we love what we cook. And that's one of our passions is food, is cooking and, and entertaining. So other than that, hey, we're going to enjoy this food. Um, we will see you on the next one. So as always, God bless. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend. And we'll see you on the next one. Good All night. Right. Bye. As I enjoy my ribs. <laughs> mm. you see that? Off the ball. Alright. No, we're gone for real. So, see you next time. Alright?